Hi, welcome to the Culinary Classroom. I'm Michelle Bisbee, Child Nutrition Consultant and Culinary Specialist with the Maine Department of Education's Child Nutrition Teams. Today we're going to make a classic Acadian dish called ploys. They're a very simple, easy to make dish that includes buckwheat flour, which can be sourced locally here in Maine, all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and water. This is a very versatile item. It can be served at breakfast with sausage and eggs or with a fruit filling, or it can even be served at lunch with beans and hot dogs. It is very similar to a crepe, um, but still slightly different because of the difference of flour with buckwheat flour. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is combine all of your dry ingredients. And I'm going to go ahead and use a whisk to just thoroughly combine these. Next, you want to add two cups of cold water. If you're making a large batch of this in your school, of course you can use an electric mixer. Once this is combined, you want to now let this rest for five minutes. While it is resting, we're going to bring one cup of water to a boil. Once it's been five minutes and your water has come to a boil, you can go ahead and shut off your heat and go right from the stove to your ploy mixture. All right. Be careful when stirring this as to not splash that boiling water on yourself. This batter is still a little bit thick, so what we're going to do is just add some cold water to it. You want more of a crepe-like consistency than a pancake batter consistency. Once you've gotten about to this consistency here, it runs nice and smoothly, you're ready to start cooking. So we're going to go ahead and switch to a pan. And I'm going to grease this. I'm going to keep this on medium to low just because usually a flame like that does cook pretty quickly. I'm going to use about an eighth of a cup to start, just because this is a fairly small pan. I'm drop my batter in. Swirl it around. Might need a little bit more, just to get full coating. Alright. And you want to cook until you see bubbles popping up and it looks like it's cooked all the way through. If you want to, you can flip it and just get a little heat on the other side towards the end, but traditionally, ploys are not flipped. So just like in the world of pancakes, there is the first ploy pan uh, rule as well. I ended up having to add a little bit more water to my batter to thin it out. And another thing is your pan needs to be greased, but very lightly greased. So every few ploys, you'll want to just lightly spray some more grease on there. So another thing I recommend is making sure you pull it off of the heat when you're swir swirling the batter around. That way it doesn't quick, uh, cook too quickly before you can get it spread out evenly. So now we just sit here and we wait for the bubbles and the edges to curl and we'll have a beautiful ploy. 
If making poison in large batches, I would definitely recommend doing them on a flat top griddle. That way you can use the back side of the measuring cup to help spread them nice and thin and you can do more than one at a time. Um, one recipe for the batter for ploys goes an extremely long way. So be mindful of that when you're mixing it up. You know, if you're trying it out in your school, start small to make sure they really enjoy them first before you end up with hundreds of ploys in your freezer.